Hello everybody and welcome back to the Rock and Reaction Rollers where we react to music that we grew up with from the 60s to the 90s and my name is Tammy. Tonight we're going to go back to 1975 and I have a request from Steve C and he wants to hear a Tommy Bolin song um, called People People. So um, we're just going to get right to the song. We'll talk a little bit about Tommy Bolin if you don't know who he is um, when we go on break. So we're just going to get right to the song. Oh, I'm going to stop this song for a minute. I've never heard this song before. I, I This is the first time I've ever heard it. And, um, this man, this song came out, it was released in 1975, and uh, in the next year, 1976, Tommy Bolin died of a drug overdose. Um, and I think it was like the night after he opened up um, in a concert for Peter Frampton and I think Jeff Beck. Um, and it happened the next evening. Um, and so a lot of uh, tragedy there uh, for him. And, and he's, I really like his voice a lot. Um, and if you guys you know, recognizing him or didn't know him from anything else. He used to play in the James Gang from 1973 to 1974, and then he played with Deep Purple, Deep Purple, <laughs> can't get my words out tonight, from 1975 to 1976. So, um, and then after that, he went on to his own solo career. So, interesting. Um, but I really like the song, and uh, thanks for the request, Steve. And uh, we're going to just get right back to it. It's called People, People from Tommy Bolin. Oh, I really enjoyed that. I really like that song. <laughs> and like I said, I've never heard it before. Um, so sometimes I do react to songs that I haven't heard. <laughs> if you know what I'm talking about. But anyway, um... Like I said, he died back in 1976, and, and what a great artist. And there was something else that I had read about him earlier, um, that one day he was, or he was supposedly a super nice guy, too. He was in the park, and there was a couple um, sitting out having a little picnic, and they were smoking something, and he was in the park strumming his guitar, and uh, he seen what they were doing, so he went over and asked him if he could partake in that with him, with them, and they said sure, and so... The guy, I think it was, uh, of the couple, he recognized who he was, but he said he wasn't about to tell him um, who he was. He gave him his first name, and that's all he said at first. So, But then the guy guessed it was him. So they said he was a super nice guy, and that's great when they could do something like that. Just go out in the park and just be like ordinary people. Um, but anyway, I didn't have a whole lot else on him or the song songs that he does. Um, but uh, thanks for the request, Steve. I think it was important to get him on here tonight, too. And um, so I hope you enjoyed the song as much as I did. And, uh, oh, I guess I probably ought to do my reaction because I didn't do that through the song. But I think, basically, I think what I kind of thought was cool about the song is I think he was singing about his family members and how, you know, we was going back to his roots and how everything shaped him through his life. And I may be totally wrong, but... That's kind of what it seemed like to me that he was um, saying. I couldn't understand all of the words, but um, from what I was getting from it, that's what I got from it. So anyway, it was just a cool little song. So um, if, you, if you enjoy the channel, be sure to subscribe. All you have to do is hit the little red subscribe button. Thanks to all of you who have, who have already subscribed. Um, but once you hit the subscribe button, then you can hit the post notification bell and you won't miss a video. And uh, we're going to do some more after this, so come back and watch us again. Um, and just be sure to tell those people that you love that you love them each and every day. And peace out. <laughs> 